Take a look. Idahoans gathered at the Capitol this afternoon to celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The celebration began with a trumpet fanfare from Boise State University students. The Mountain Home Air Force Base Color Guard also performed. Rabbi Daniel Fink spoke about the pursuit of justice during a ceremony at the Rotunda. But as we know, the only way that we can grow as individuals and communities is to recognize that the pursuit of justice begins with truth. No one understood this better than Martin Luther King. Fink served as a rabbi at a Boise synagogue for almost 21 years. In Washington, D.C., an elementary school project is honoring Dr. King. As Craig Boswell shows us, fifth graders recited Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech from the same spot he delivered it back in 1963. I have a dream. One by one, fifth graders from Washington, D.C.'s Watkins Elementary School recited Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech. That my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin. They've been rehearsing for weeks. I was nervous, but I was kind of excited, and I was like, wow, I was proud. Standing in the spot where Dr. King delivered the powerful words was also emotional. When I was finished, I went up there and I started crying because it's a relief that I'm sharing his speech with everybody here. It brings a tear to my eye because it, it makes me think that she really take it in. She's soaking up all the history. Yeah. It was embarrassing. You <laughs> <laughs> said it was embarrassing. Because I was crying all the time. <laughs> I have a dream. Freedom. The school began this tradition on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial 11 years ago. And each year, students connect to the speech in different ways. Have a good life and um, not be judged by their skin color, but by how they act. Younger students are listening and watching, eager for their turn to share Dr. King's words on his next birthday. Craig Boswell, CBS News, Washington.